If you're planning a trip to Istanbul soon, you might be wondering what things you should pack to make your trip even better. That is why in this video we're going to guide you through the essentials for your Turkish adventure. We'll cover everything from versatile clothing options that adapt to Istanbul's climate to the must-have accessories and electronic devices that you should keep in mind to have a much better experience. So if you're ready, let's get started! Let's remember that many of these items that we're going to mention in this video are quite similar to when we travel to any other country in the world. But let's also remember that out, out there, there might be some of you that are going to travel to Turkey for the very first time and maybe it is your first international travel as well. So not everybody has the same experience as others and you might have these doubts. So especially for these people who will be traveling for the very first time abroad and Turkey is their first destination, this video will be very helpful for you. So let's start with the first item that I highly recommend you packing when you come to Turkey. And one of those is exclusively for women and that is a headscarf. Because remember that here in the country you will find many mosques, especially in Istanbul, there are so many that we highly recommend you to visit, like Hagia Sophia, Blue Mosque, Soleimaniye Mosque, among many others. So in order to visit them, women need to follow a dress code. And one of them is of course to cover our head. So for example, in my case, I always like to pack something like this, like a pashmina. These are very, very light, so you don't they don't really take a lot of space from your luggage. And as you can see, you can just put it something like that. And also if you are not, if it's summer, in the case of summer, if you don't have anything that it's covering your shoulders, you can also do it with this one already. Also, maybe some of you might be wondering if it's really necessary bringing one. Well, I highly recommend you to do so because also in the mosques, you will find uh, that people are allowing you to, to wear the ones that everybody are wearing, like those visitors that do not have a pashmina. So they are allowing, they are giving you some that you can wear and then you can give them back. So just for hygiene, I suggest you to bring your own. And also it will allow you to save plenty of time when visiting the mosques, because also let's remember that those are major attractions already in the city. And nowadays there are so many tourists, which is great. But if you want to save that time and not wait in line just to get a pashmina, you can just have your own and enter directly to the mosque. This is another tip that I want to give to exclusively to women is that you can bring also modest clothing. And this is in case that you are planning on visiting mosques once again, any religious place, because let's remember that also besides covering our hair, we also need to dress modestly. This means with legs covered and also at least the shoulders. Some other places might be a bit more strict than others, but just in case, that's why I suggest you to bring clothes that will cover you at least until here and fully your legs. Also in case that, that it is summer and maybe you're wearing shorts, which, which in Istanbul and anywhere in Turkey you're allowed to wear whatever you want, it doesn't matter. But when visiting mosques, you need to follow the dress code. And also in most of mosques, especially those ones that are quite, quite touristy, you will find those, uh, once again, like those skirts that they can allow you, but once again, everybody are wearing them. So in order to avoid all of that, just if that day you're planning on visiting some mosques, just try to dress appropriately and bring long dresses or even pants, that's totally okay. Now what about men? Yes, that's true. Men also need to follow certain dress code when visiting religious sites, including mosques. So for this, men do not have to cover the hair but of course they just need to to follow the dress code which is wearing pants in case that you're visiting in summer or even in spring just make sure not to be wearing shorts when visiting a mosque and for men and women please please try to wear the most comfortable shoes that you have because trust me here in istanbul you will walk a lot and when i say a lot that means minimum per day like 10 or 15 kilometers per day because istanbul is a very walkable city you can literally reach the main areas like galata tower 
uh, Galata Bridge and even Sultanahmet and Eminonu you can if you want you can walk but you will have to walk a lot so that is why I'm telling you try to wear the most comfortable shoes that you have because otherwise you are gonna regret another tip that I want to give you as well in case that you are visiting Istanbul or Turkey in general during summer season and if you are wearing sandals if that day you're planning on visiting any mosque please put in your bag or your backpack a pair of socks for each one of you men or women why because let's remember that also when visiting mosques one must remove the shoes and we have to leave them in a locker but for that i mean i wouldn't suggest entering the mosque in bare foot so for that it's much better and much more hygienic just to to take off your sandals and then wear your socks and enter the mosque another item and this is uh, specifically for women of course are the purses Be, uh, let's remember that also there are many purses and there are some of them that are not very safe to carry especially when we are visiting very crowded places like public transportation and let's remember that Istanbul it's a quite crowded city and the public transportation especially at peak hours can be very very crowded so all the people are like next to each other you can barely move so that is why i'm telling you in case of women please watch out your bags your purses and for that i know there are many pretty uh, bags many pretty purses that you can carry but please like this type of bags like those ones that don't have like a zipper but you only have like this kind of bottoms or like that that are very easy to reach other people can easily reach your stuff and steal your belongings please these ones leave them at home or just leave them in your hotel maybe these ones you can take them for a nice for a nice dinner or when you're not gonna take public transportation but in my case also when i'm when i'm planning on going to very crowded places these type of bags i usually leave them at home what i highly recommend you to pack instead is something like this these are very simple very nice you can just put them here crossbody and you can all the time ha uh, have it in front of you so that way you can when you're in the public transportation you can just hug it and nobody will be able to reach your belongings so be very careful with that during summer for men and women we recommend to bring as much as possible light and breathable clothes this means mainly made up of natural fabrics like cotton and linen and why is this because let's remember that is that in Istanbul and also many provinces in the coast areas like Antalya, Fethiye in the Asian area the heat during summer is literally unbearable because the humidity the humidity you're feeling like literally you are melting all your clothes are just stick to your body and sometimes you cannot be outside like that so at least i'm the type of person that i really suffer a lot with the weather here even in istanbul during summer so i try to wear very very light clothes even dresses if you're a person a, a a woman that loves dresses well that will be your opportunity you can wear as many dresses as you want feel free so you 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 won't be struggling so try to bring light clothes now if you have the question if you can wear shorts in istanbul and in general in turkey let me tell you that yes you can wear anything you want you're free to do it just as i told you before try to make sure that that day that you're wearing shorts try not to visit mosques because as i told you as well that way you don't have to wait in line for a tunic for you to wear or you need to wear pants so just try to schedule your days properly another item that it is very important and in my case i don't leave home not even in winter without it is sunscreen yes in istanbul you also need to wear it anywhere you go and this is something that i highly recommend you especially for those people having sensitive skin because here you need to walk a lot and there are no many trees and you will be so many hours under the sun so please try to pack your sunscreen in case that also you want some extra pro protection especially for your skin you can also bring a cap or a hat they can easily be packed in your luggage they don't take a lot of, of space so you can also wear them here another tip that i would like to give you is to pack even though that you're only visiting istanbul maybe you're not planning on visiting the coast areas of the of the country just make sure to pack 
one swimsuit and why am i telling you this because when you're visiting the country in summer sometimes it is so so hot that you never know maybe you would like to have a day off you maybe you don't want to be walking on the bustling streets for one day and maybe you would like to go to any beaches that we have plenty here in istanbul especially in the black sea area or also somewhere in the princess islands so just in case try to pack one swimsuit and the last item that I recommend you not to forget, and I'm telling you this as a person that suffers a lot during summer. I don't know why, and this is one of my biggest problems. Sometimes I don't even want to, to walk a little bit in summer because just by walking a little bit, I'm sweating like so, so much. So I really sweat a lot. So in order to keep myself dry and not to suffer that much, I always try to pack these little, uh, these little towels that as you can see they don't take any space from your luggage you can easily put it in your purse or in your backpack and you can just uh, dry your face so also these ones will help you a lot and try to have them with you another accessory that I can literally I don't live without it in summer I don't leave home without this is this little fan so for women you can easily use it you can stay uh, cool during the, the the heat if you are walking on the bustling streets of istanbul during summer now let's move on to the winter packing and for this as in any other destination that you're going in winter we highly recommend you to pack some thermal clothes and i'm telling you this because yeah maybe istanbul and in general turkey it's not that cold as many other places especially in europe or even in the us so but even then there are certain days that it can feel very very cold especially if you are in those areas near the bosphorus or anywhere near the seaside it feels even colder than in the inner neighborhoods so of course most of the major attractions are near the bosphorus or the or the golden horn so that is why i'm telling you that in winter try to bring thermal clothing especially the the thermal leggings and with those ones you will, you will be very comfortable and of course the other items are the the scarves and try to bring the warm ones especially the the ones made of wool because those ones will protect you even more globes please don't forget them because sometimes i go out i forget my globes and sometimes i cannot even <laughs> like move my hands properly especially in the areas close to the bosphorus uh, another thing are the beanies as well those ones please don't forget them especially because uh, for your ears that, that way you can stay stay warm and of course another tip is to dress in layers because that way you will stay warm but in case that you're walking a lot and at the same time you're you are kind of sweating because also we tend to sweat a little bit in in winter that way you can stay warm as well and another important item that i suggest you to pack is and this is because istanbul is quite rainy especially during fall season and winter is of course a raincoat uh, usually the days here are rainy and rainy so try to pack one raincoat and as well water resistant shoes or boots now what about the clothing for spring and fall seasons well this one i it the, i mean weather can be a bit tricky because we can have the whole seasons in one day it's so so interesting so for this that is why i recommend you mostly to dress in very light layers for example, in my case, during these seasons, I'm wearing like this type of, of jersey so already and underneath one light t-shirt and my trench coat because usually at noon, it's already feeling a bit warm, especially when you're walking. So in that case, I just take the jersey off, I put it in my neck and I stayed in my trench coat and my, and my t-shirt and I don't feel warm at all. But early morning and already when it's getting dark, you will feel cold again so you can have your jersey. As well, I suggest you to have one light scarf just in case if you get cold at night. And once again, the weather can be tricky during spring and, and fall. It can be a bit rainy. So once again, bring a raincoat and water resistant shoes or boots. And the final section will be accessories and electronic devices. Let's remember that in Turkey, we use the plug F type, which is like this one, okay? So don't forget that we have these, this type of plug. So for these, if you're coming from America, 
anywhere in the American continent, not Europe, because in Europe we use the, the same ones every time we travel to Europe, I can use these ones already. But maybe if you are coming from Asia or anywhere from America, you will need an adapter. And for that, you can find in many shops where they are selling electronics, you can find this type of, of adapters and you're just gonna plug them and voila, you can just plug it in here or as well you will have like these ones which are amazing for traveler anywhere in the world where you are gonna have already all the all the all the plug types so you just unlock them and you can use the one that will be more useful for you this tip is also exclusively for women because let's remember that when we travel anywhere we usually pack our hair straightener or any similar accessories for fixing our hair but let's remember that in, in, in those accessories, the voltage might differ from country to country. So you need to make sure that those accessories will be covering a voltage of at least 230 volts because that's the one being used in Turkey. So let's imagine that maybe your hair straightener has 110 to 150 volts, then it will not be working properly here in the country and you might have maybe the bad luck that it might even explode because it already happened to me when I first arrived in the country. So in case that you don't want to buy a new one just to bring to Turkey, don't worry, there are also voltage converters that you can bring and you can safely use them anywhere in the world. And in case that you are also bringing a daily backpack so you can carry your stuff inside and your, and your important belongings. So if you want to keep your things a bit safer and to protect your backpacks, also I recommend you to bring some small locks to put in the zippers. That way you will keep your, your backpacks protected. If you have any other items that you might like to recommend our audience to bring to a turkey travel, please make sure to comment below so everybody can read them and make their packing list. So thanks a lot for watching our video and if you want to keep receiving more tips and recommendations about Istanbul and Turkey in general, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.